the back. He's had what three, four really big runs. Five. Going again. He's not even looking like he's going to get tired. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Someone says I love you. Well, I love you too. I'm not going to stay here long because I know the fish are down the para. Slippery. I just started, I was hoping. I haven't fished here for about 10 years. There used to be some nice bass here. Mate, I was born here, you know, I used to fish off that. I climbed out on that thing when I was a kid. Yeah. I just flew out, we used to catch a lot of tailor. Yeah. Uh, there's bass. I oh, know, yeah, bass but. Bass are all up in fresh water. Yeah, but in the winter they roll down on this bridge. Yeah, but they don't, there's a bloody fish there, yeah. I oh, know. It's the fun police. I don't let you fish anywhere anymore. No, like this river the, there's no access. You notice, and exactly. look, look at all the crap. The, yeah. the, you know, like if they let fishermen have it. You would probably relate to it, but Buffalo Creek. Yeah. There used to be. We used to live here, just two houses up. Yeah. When I was a kid, my grandfather was a legal fisherman. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I oh, know, because they, they, they blocked the fishermen from fishing, so all the vines and cracks are taken over. They don't, they don't realise it's, 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 it's good for your health to get out and do this. Yeah, yeah. Private property, authorised access only, trespassers will be prosecuted and equipment impounded. Now what equipment would you have going on a vacant block? Oh, fishing rods. Fun police, mate. Sydney's got the worst fun police on the planet. Well, I'm not going to break the law. I'm going to walk the river line. Ooh, look at all the crabs. Sign. Oh, yeah, this is just ridiculous. But the tide's just starting to run in. Finish work for the day. And the other day when I was with Roger, they were all stacking up on the point. And I can see why. They so many little crabs in here. Oysters, pippies, mussels. I'm walking the path. Look how worn it is now. Shows so how many people like to come down here and fish, especially the catch and release guys. But we've got to walk all the way to that point to make it legal. And I bet you there's a big old brim on that snag there. This bottle always remains the property of H.R. Crutch. Shame it's all broken. Cool bottle. That's three bottles I found walking up here. High levels of industrial pollutants have been found in the fish and shellfish in this area. Well, would you really eat an oyster here? I dare you to. I mean, you'd have to be crazy. You're only going to do it once. So why can't they let us catch and release? They're letting people live on it, They're letting people swim in it. Anyhow, see. Oh. Looks older. What the hell's going on there? There's an old locomotive pushing the other train. Wow. Thought they were extinct. Anyway, I'm just going to 
try out a blade, but they're all got bunked hooks, so I've got to um, replace a hook or two. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, how'd I lose him? That was a really big fish. I turned the camera on and oh, there'll be more. That was a good one. Turned the camera on back to drag down because he was going for a big run and he spat it. Oh, well, let's try it again. Felt like a big brim. That's all right. That was in real close to the wall too. I've only got one battery, I don't want to waste it, so turn it off and I'll get a hook up. Or I'll leave it running and it will curse me. I, think I just want to enjoy it. There's one. That's the same as the other one, so whatever that is. Come on. Run. He's going nuts, but he's not running. Come on, what is it? I'm acting like, oh yeah, it's a little brim. That's why. I was expecting a big I'll take him now. <laughs> hey buddy, come here. It's all right. Two cars, two fish, oh I missed the first one. Come here, come here, come here. Now I'm going to have to go and get my pliers. Okay. Just put these hooks on so I do not want to rack them. And usually they roll in so you can roll them out. Just like that. I dare anyone to eat an oyster from this place. You know? Look. That's a very healthy looking brim and I don't want to eat that either. I just want to catch some fish and let them go. It's a sport, it's a recreation. It's good for my health. It's good for my mental health. It's good for my physical health. So why are they stopping us from doing it? You know? You can see how they've just been chewing on these rocks around here. It's just a sign that they're here. Well, we know the brim are already heading up onto the wall. Both of those fish were pretty aggressive too. They're just in the exact same spot both times. So I'd say that was a school. And I'm just behind him, so I'm hoping something else is out here. That's where most of them will be feeding on that ferry wash out wide. Especially on that lower tide. But the brim are coming into the wall to eat. That's a good thing. Day to relax and catch a few fish, eh? Oh, what are you doing there? You're getting smaller. It's alright. I don't care. Oops. Thank you very much. See you later, buddy. Just sitting back off the point a bit and letting the current just drift 
across the wally. Think of what else I can use. Oh, oh, that was a good hit. They're whacking it. I've got no catch in or anything on it today. Because I miss that fish, I'm going to play it out. I'm going to cast back in. catch the fish you've drawn or you can wind straight back out and cast back in again and that sort of I found in the past it's almost a guarantee that you're going to get another fish oh, see you buddy saves me releasing them I noticed over the years especially on moored boats if you get a hit and miss the fish on a moored boat just wind it, wind it in and cast back at the boat. You see, just turn around. They go straight. Oh, that's flipped. They go straight back to the boat, but they go back angry. So the next cast that comes in, they hit it harder. G'day mate, how are you? You getting many? I just picked up three just here. Yeah, I think they're running up the wall though. Yeah? Is that you? I know you, don't I? How are you? Yeah, no, I miss being there, man. I haven't really spoken to anyone since I got out of the shop, so. You're still fishing, though. That's the main thing. I was looking at you out there thinking shark bait, mate. I love to juice that up with squidgy juice. Put a big hook on the back of it. I know, me too. I had to, mate, they got a sign there saying they'll confiscate all your gear, so I walked along the tidal line. I thought... You can go and get stuff, mate. You're not getting my gear. But I'm going to break the law and fish back in. This, it's too it's too much fun. Technically, I was breaking the law anyway, sitting on the other side of the point. Mm. they got to catch me. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it mightn't be fisheries. It mightn't be them. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, they pulled you over. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Shit everywhere. Open, so there'll be needles. There's one needle in there, but there's needles floating around in it. Like around here. One big run already. Oh, okay. Feels a bit better fish. Much better fish. It mightn't be. It's coming soft now, but I had one good run. No, he's alright. He's <laughs> fun. Ah, big whiting. Yeah, that old mate I was yakking to, he was just out here one day. He came into the shop so excited. He hooked and landed a massive big uh, salmon. 
let it go. He was just floating around here. Fisheries turned up and they find him 500 bucks. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, our Trevor's might turn up in a minute anyway. Hey, sorry mate. Not the best hooks by the looks of it, but it's catching them. And we're all about releasing them, so. It doesn't get much better than that in some ways. That's the one. Oh, that's a big, big fish. Pole sitting out there. We ain't going anywhere yet. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my god. I've got a pole out of the water over there. I'm just going to see what this thing does. Oh, I'm sorry. Gotta be a Jew. Let's say she's a Jew fish. Let's see if I can work him up this way. Might not be, I don't know what it is, but it's big. I'm just gonna have to be patient here. <laughs> Paranoid about the um, camera losing the footage, so I can turn you on and off. Back. He's had what three, four really big runs. Five. Going again. He's not even looking like he's going to get tied. <laughs> I got six pound leader. The tiny little hooks that I've changed off another blade onto this one so if I do get him in it'll be a bit of a awesome like this is it this is capping my day off if I can land him I'm thinking Jew but all I can think is Jew look at it <laughs> As long as he stays going out that way, the biggest problem I might get, I might get wet going under those mangroves if I have to go following. I'm really, first thing I want to do is see the guy, see what he is. He's a good fish. He's a real good fish. that drag set at its at its limit I can't really put it anymore what is he there's no head shake normally you get the bit of a head shake off a dew but he's way too big for a brim I have to be patient 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 I'm a bit worried he's, he's heading into that here he goes again. <laughs> I want him out there. I want him past that pole over here. Maybe he gets tired, he might go down with the current. Keep him out there. Try and go. There's two sticks in the water just there. I do not want him anywhere near them. Off the pole. He keeps wanting to come in. And then when he turns around, oh no, I'll tell the hook go. When he turns around and runs, it's like he's got tons of energy left. Oh, come on, stay on there. Stay on. He's a big fish. I'm 
just feathering that line. I'm not actually holding it. I'm trying to keep as much pressure on him. If he is a Jew, what happens is they'll just give up. And he'll come up. I'm trying to think, he's definitely not a flathead. I'll reel out big brim because it's just too many runs. No head shakes like a big Trevor. Ooh. Come on. Oh, he's a good Jew. He's not a safe, he's a good Jew. And you want to, well, I suppose you've already seen, if you're watching the video, you've seen the little hooks I've got on it. I don't know how six pound leader oh, patience Aaron I can feel that oh there he is yeah he's due yep hey, he's, he's only a soapy he's all right though still a slab six pound I'll take him oh, beautiful fish eh Now I've seen him. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just one more turn on and off, I think. <laughs> How cool is that? Hey, Harajuju. Oh, did you give me a battle, buddy? He's all right. I thought he would be a little bit bigger than that. The way he's carrying on. There you have it. Awesome. Hey? Got a cool little animal. Take this off. Let you go. I was just walking my way out. Hey, come on, come on. I was lucky in some ways that hook's caught his up. Like not the eye, but the corner of the eye. They do have pretty sharp teeth. If he went in there, his gob. Hey, mate. Turn on the camera. That was so cool. Now, we're going to let this little fish go. Awesome. Stay there, mate. Swim away, buddy. Yep. Look at that, he's just cruising off. <laughs> Parramatta Jew, mate. Thanks for watching. That's what I caught him on. Most of the Jewfish I catch are just a bycatch. I tend to get them chasing me brim and whiting and things, and they just come along, and it's this time of year. From May through to August down here, I catch them. I was actually in a fishing comp years ago, big final. We were on that point and I caught three. I was on wanting big brim and I caught three big Jews. What's gonna be a mongrel getting through all this now? It's worth it though. I'm just making this back now. But they're all workers in there and I don't think they care about fish shows. It's more the fun police that want to make these laws that want to enforce them. Normal people don't want to enforce them. Ooh, the wind's blowing up. That's just going to turn the fish on even more. I was worried about getting back here around that before the tide lifted. Ah, that's where I put my drink. Damn. Oh, it's still cold. 